subscribe, like, and comment in the next five seconds, or this will be you when you wake up tomorrow. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Idox, and what I'm gonna be showing you today is how to get a gamepad viewer running and working. Cause I've had a issue on uh, like when it wouldn't work sometimes and I have a solution if that didn't work but if you're just coming here to see how to do it and if it works for you great if it doesn't then this is also for you so first thing you're gonna want to do is search up game pad viewer dot com and press enter and then when you've got your controller you can uh, move it around do whatever you need to do like move your stick, just press off a bunch of buttons and it should go away. And then you're going to want to click uh, where, where it says none and player one, player two. You're mostly going to want to play player one if you're on a computer. So as you can see, it is moving around, doing fine, working all the buttons. And I'm going to switch it to PS4 because I have a PS4 controller. And you can set it to whatever you want. You can even set it to Fight Pad Pro, whatever that is. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, but for most of it, you're going to want to click on Xbox and use an Xbox controller, PS4, if you want to use a PS4 controller, and all of these if you use that, you know. And you're going to want to click on the three lines right here, and then you're going to want to go to Generate URL. So, what got me here is sometimes difficult. So, you're going to want to go to player one, because that's what player one has, so, and then choose a skin, choose your PS4. If you want it to be PS4, you need to do this, because basically the back, even if you put it as PS4, it doesn't matter. You need to put it as PS4, or Xbox, or whatever you put it as. And then you're going to want to copy it. And then we're going to hop over to Streamlabs. So once you've got your Streamlabs open, wait, let me, uh, stop take this off okay so what you're gonna want to do next is press the plus button and then you're going to want to go to browser source add source and then go to add a new source instead you can really name it anything but I'm just gonna name it controller pad viewer it doesn't have to be that long but I just did that and then uh, when you go to the URL you're gonna want to delete whatever is here and then click control V and it should pop up and as you can see it's disconnected but when you move it around but as you can see it's not working for me and I have a solution for that but if this worked great then it's done but this is for the people that does that it didn't work for them for the people that it didn't work for you're gonna want to go back to gamepad viewer Move around your sticks, you already know, as you, as you saw in the other tutorial part. And then you're going to want to go Player 1, Xbox, PlayStation 4. It actually doesn't matter on this. If you want to change it, you can, just to, like, test it, you know. So, go to the three lines, generate URL, and then go to, like, PlayStation 4, unless you use a different controller. So, what I did is chose player 2. Now, it seems kind of weird, but it automatically thought it was player 2 because there was already a, a controller in the back of this. So, when, play, when I selected player 2 and then copy this and go back to Streamlabs, which is right here, and uh, let me just replace this. So, then you're going to want to delete whatever is here and then go Control V done disconnected and as you can see it works so it used to not work but for some weird reason i had to switch it to a different player now if this doesn't work just keep trying every other player and see if it works but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you already know make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you never miss when i post another video like this and it could help you anytime so, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.